families have killed Sheikh Dan Liman Isa, chief imam of a Kawaran Rafi village in the Igabi local government area of Kaduna State. The Kaduna State Commissioner for Internal Security and Home Affairs, Samuel Arua, disclosed this in a statement on Saturday. Arua said the bandits invaded the village and moved straight to the chief imam's residence and in what happens to be a premeditated attack, shot him dead and left the location without taking any item or hostage. He said the murder of the cleric has been linked to his vocal stance against the killing and kidnapping of people by bandits. In a similar development, bandits also killed the Adu Musa Lai of Kajuru local government area, who was kidnapped by armed men in October 2020, reportedly for his stance against killing, kidnapping, and cattle rustling. In another development, security agencies have reported the murder of Sheikh Yaki of Gudugudu, Yohana Abu, by a gang of kidnappers. According to the report, the government attacked Nisama village in the Jema local government area of the state late on Friday night and abducted Mr. Abu along with another resident, Mr. Charles Audu. The struggle ensued between the duo and the kidnappers and why, the, why Mr. Audu was able to escape, the kidnappers shot Mr. Abu dead. The commissioner disclosed that five persons have been arrested in connection with the killing as security agencies continue to investigate the incident. <sighs> wow. So, is this a country? And the president is sitting down somewhere. Something, all this kind of thing are happening on a daily basis, as if it's a normal thing. That you can just even answer, but you don't even just be killing hands the way you like. Lives have become worthless in this country. Every day, every day, every minute. Not even every day, every minute, every second. Especially from that northern part of the country. What is happening? And some people will sit down and tell you, oh, of course, Femi Adishino has already agreed that, say, oh, the president knows that all of these things are happening. That why talking that those who are willing should just go and get themselves another job. That the government, the president is aware of all these things. Oh, it's a good thing that they have acknowledged the fact that all of these things are happening because he would have come and tell you that, oh, they are not happening. He said the worry already knows. That means why are we talking, complaining, saying the same thing over and over again, that the man is aware. So what is the big deal? That people are just ranting, people are wailing. That they should just go and get themselves job. You see what is happening? And, and some people sit down there and saying that uh, they are presiding over the affairs of people. Every day is happening. Nothing is being done. Murik is coming out to tell us that uh, because of uh, it's because of uh, uh, the demands of the Muslims. That is why they are not. Uh, that why, that is why all of these things are happening. <laughs> well, these people are from Niger and Chad. They feel that we don't have government. Hmm. The only problem the North and the military have is Eastern Security Network, which was formed to secure the East Bandits. Our friends, let them continue. With all these happenings, Shawore is this is this uh, administration's problem instead of safeguarding the lives of ordinary citizens. Ha, ah, Chief Imam, what is the solution for all these problems? For crying out loud, the police and the military are the problem of this country. If they can join hands together with the youth, Nigeria will be better. My view, according to what someone is saying here. Where is Nigeria Air Force and our army, even police, where, where are they? Whether they like it or not, they shall one day face karma. May the souls of the departed rest in peace. A bad epoch for Nigeria and Nigerians. Okay. Hmm. May God receive his souls. His soul. This is fake news. Not is the safest place to live in Nigeria. Keep calling the terrorist bandits. The Abukora members accept their nicknames is bandit. Some Northerns are deeply in love with evil, suffering, smiling, and dying every day on the increase. Yet, their major problem is for federal government to destroy Eastern Security Network. Helicopter was flying all over the sky throughout Christmas and New Year, wasting our hard-earned money, burning fuel for nothing. How long will this killing continue? Nigeria, we don't enter one chance. Leave air refi, let him continue to hunt after sex party organizers while bandits are roaming about freely killing people like chickens in his state is unfortunate. Hmm. Well, 
and Herufai can't demolish the bandits, God will judge him. All I know is that it's a family affair. The northerners are not complaining. Abi, they are not complaining. What's it called the southerners' problem now? <laughs> no, now you cannot even see most of them, uh, you know, com commenting on this issue now. But when it comes to what, ah, they will jump out. They will jump out like a frog. They will jump out like ants and begin to to talk what they don't understand. These bandit attacks are never President Buhari's problem because he's a jihadist. If it was a peaceful process in the southwest, south, south or southeast, he would deploy troops possessing weapons of mass destruction. Now that his blood sucking actions are needed, he's right there in Nasu Rock babysitting. <laughs> you can imagine babysitting. This is a total ethnic cleansing, all thanks to Buhari. We need middle belt region in Nigeria. That is why I believe that Nigerians got the president they deserve in Buhari. By the time this government finished dealing with us, many we have sent by by force. Which kind uh which kind of thing is and in another development you will you mean killing of Saki or Gudu Gudu Yama abuse is a development? A good development. Okay, well, I don't know what this one is trying to say. Fake news, the governor of Cardona State demolishing the building where bandits organize a sex party. No bandit is remaining in Kaduna. I'm in Kaduna now and everywhere is peaceful. Uh, Rufai wouldn't demolish or send his minors after them. My Awusa brethren, how markets are you still enjoying PMB? Oh, they are enjoying him to the fullest. What do you mean? They are enjoying him to the fullest because. Uh, for Murik to come and be telling us that uh, for all of these things to get reduced, that means all the assist demands should be met. Insecurity challenges that some of you make fun and jokes out of to of it today, it may likely hit your you or your closest families tomorrow. What are you talking about? Are you not the people saying that everything is fine? When people were complaining about answers, you said no that they should they should not scrap answers. So what are you? Who are you complaining to? Have you people come out to? To protest in large crowd if at all that you guys are not happy about it well done mr buhari for what you have turned nigeria and for where you are you have taken nigeria to time we say on you that's believe that's okay you that believe in that one nigeria continue to believe in one nigeria you people have started this fake news against again in 2000 and 2021 nothing happened in the north not now not before north is safe Shawari must be in Kujie prison is the problem of Nigeria. Baba Buhari is a man of integrity, blah, blah, blah. Now, family matter, Sarah reporters, please bring another news. And the demolition, demolition governor, okay, and the demolition governor is demolishing a, a lot of, uh, maybe the hotel there, but he's not going to demolish uh, the hideout or the, the location of the bandits. This isn't news. Adamu goats, Adamu goats hate Adamu yam. It is left for Adamu to determine the fate of the goat, period. Okay, meaning it's a family affair. Nobody should interrupt. But no matter how we try to look the other way around, like I have said, the money we are supposed to be using for other things will be channeled to that place. Because before you know it, all the governors, they will now be telling you that they need money, they need this and that, especially the Castina State Governor, who said they have spent 4.2 billion naira just to appease all these uh, bandits. They will tell you, and as at that time when they were disbursing the money, he said, "Oh, uh, the, the crime, uh, the crime rate has reduced because of that uh, program they set up. Now they will need more money so that they will calm them down." So, guys, let's hear your opinion and leave your comments down there below. Thank you.